Hello, everybody. This is Michelle Litwiller here with Owl Star Stampers. I am here on Wednesday, May, May, April 25th, 2018. May is coming up very soon next week. So um, I will wait a minute and let some people hop on if you are watching me live. Tonight I have a very fun fold card to show you. Um, so I am excited about that. And um, so if you're logging on, you can comment, say hi, and there is a share button you can click. So um, if you would like to share, share this so other people can join us, that would be awesome. Um, I do have a prize I'm giving away tonight. Um, it's going to be the fun card that I'm making. And before we get started, um, I never announced the winner from last week's Facebook Live. So last week I was last week I made um, those these fruit cards with the 2D Fruity Designer Series paper. And I said I was going to give some of those away and a package of rhinestones. And I never announced the winner. So, um, Kathy Beamer, you won um, some cards. I'm going to send those to you. You'll have to message me your address. And Bobby Schaefer, you got some rhinestones. So, congratulations, ladies. Um, if you're just joining me, this is the super fun card I am going to show you how to make tonight. Um, we will get started in just a second. Um, so I wanted to say hi to everybody. Thank you for joining me on April, April 25th. I said May earlier. I guess I am excited for May. So tonight we're going to be using this Picture Perfect Designer Series paper. This is another pack of DSP that comes in a 6x6 package that is also retiring. And like the Tutti Fruity, this paper has been some of my favorite um, paper since the Occasion Catalog came out. There's fun bows, very realistic, and then the patterns on the back. I love the colors, like Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Bermuda Bay, very bright, springy colors. Um, so this... Um, paper stack. I have gone through so many of them. It's I love that confetti. I made a panda slider card with that. So I, I know I've showed you guys this um, paper, but it is retiring. So if you want it, you need to order it soon because stuff is starting to sell out. Um, if you haven't heard, um, we're in like a phase where there is a last chance list and there's stamp sets and paper, inks, embellishments, all sorts of things that are retiring and they're while supplies last. So this paper I'm using tonight is on there. And um, if you would like to order any of that stuff, I do have a host code and you can go to owlstarstampers.com up in the corner there. And I have a button you can click to shop and you can order any of these supplies um, while you're on there. So, all right, I think we got some people on here. So, um, Again, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I'm going to switch the camera view and we're going to get started making this fun fold card. Or at least that's what I'm calling it. I don't know if there's another name for it, but that's what I'm calling it. So to make this card, you here's the card again. You just need some paper, cardstock, designer series paper, and a few little embellishments. Now this is super fun because when this opens, um, like this. You can write your message here. And then I was looking for a picture. It would be fun to like um, ma ma a, a photo right here for whoever's birthday it was. Or you could even glue a gift card right here. So that's, um, this is the card I'm going to show you to make and I will give you all the dimensions. So the first thing I did is I started with my designer series paper that I wanted to use. And if you're not familiar, on the back of the Stampin' Up! paper packs, it will tell you the colors. Basic Black, Bermuda Bay, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Peekaboo Peach, Pool Party, and Whisper White. So I love that because I know what 
cardstock coordinates with this already just from the back and in the catalog it tells you as well. So I, I love that about Stampin' Up! That's actually what got me hooked with them. So I picked Berry Burst and the first piece, this is going to be the, um, the back of our card. And this measures, let me double check, it measures um, eight and a half inches by four and a quarter. And then you're going to score it at three inches. So it's eight and a half by four and a quarter, and it's scored at three. So you're just going to want to fold this here, and this is going to be the... Um, the bottom of our card. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. The next piece of cardstock you need is gonna be this flap that opens. And this piece, I just chose Bermuda Bay. I could have used any of those colors. And this piece measures three inches, I believe it was by eight, yep. And it's scored at four inches. So it's three inches by eight inches and it's scored at four. All right, everybody got those measurements? We'll set that aside. Um, for the inside piece, the piece that you're gonna want to write on here, your little message, that I cut out Whisper White and this just measures three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So that's pretty easy, three and three quarter by two and three quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this right on down, down here. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Um, or if you have any comments, go ahead and comment and I will be sure to answer you at the end. So you're going to want to um, put this kind of like on the opposite side because it's gonna open this way, if that makes sense. Okay, so we have all of the cardstock cut. Now the next thing you're going to wanna cut is the paper for the background here. And that, I just picked this, this piece right here, and this measures five and a quarter by four. So we can go ahead it's five and a quarter by four inches, and we're just going to attach that right there on the bottom of our card. So let's do that. This this paper is just it just makes me so happy when I see it. So I knew I wanted to feature it tonight. Okay, so there's that piece. Now. We can go ahead and we're, we can, um, this is going to go right here, but before we do that, we still have to add two more pieces of DSP, one here and one here. DSP is designer series paper. So I went ahead and cut those and I picked these two, these two patterns and they measure the front. This is for the front. This one measures Let's see, four inches by two and a half. And yes, I will type out these measurements and um, include them in the post for you. So again, this one was four inches by two and a, two and a half. Wait, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Two and three quarters, two and three quarters, not two and a half. See, that's why I need to type them out for you. Four inches by two and three quarters. And we're gonna attach that to the front. Guys, it's, ladies, I shouldn't say guys, it's been a long day. So please forgive me. So that goes like that. And now we're going to, this is the same size as the white. So that was, let me double check here, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you could use either side of this paper. It all coordinates. Um, but since I'm, and so again, you're going to want to, this is kind of, it seems backwards, but it's really not because it's just how it, the card is going to open for that fun fold. 
We're going to put that like that. Okay, now we're going to attach this to the center of the card. So I'm going to flip this over to the back. And you are going to want to use some good adhesive here. Um, if you don't have fast fuse, um, some tear and tape or the multi-purpose liquid glue works great. So we are just, I'm just trying to like center this. I hope my head isn't in the way. Just like this. You see our card coming together? So I'm going to get this out of the way, this trimmer. We don't need it anymore. So here, um, here's our card so far. Now I went ahead and I cut out a stitch shape oval. Can you? These are by far my favorite framelits in the that we have because they come with a circle, a oval, and a square, and they already have that stitching already done, and it it just looks awesome. And the stamp set I used is this stylized birthday. It is a single stamp. You get one, and it mounts onto a wood block. And I love the font of this. And this is also retiring, so if um, if you love this stamp, you're going to want to get it because it's not going to be available very soon. And I went ahead and I inked that up in our Berry Burst ink pad, and voila, I already, I cut it out. This will cut out a little bit here, um, but uh, that's okay. And yes, this is the biggest oval in the framelit set that I use for this. So I just stamped it happy birthday and then I'm going to attach it with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I have them right here and I'm just going to put two on, one on the top and the bottom and I'm going to flip this over and center this on our front flap. And you can see here that it looks like my ink pad's getting a little dry, so I need to re-ink it. Which brings me to another reminder, if you need any um, re-inkers, especially the colors that are retiring, we have a color revamp coming. You're going to want to get those also. Now to finish off this card, I'm using the Berry Burst Crinkle Ribbon. I love this ribbon. I love, love, love it. It is very soft, very easy to make bows with. I'm not sure why mine is halfway unraveled. I really don't know what happened here. Um, this comes in several different colors. It is, again, also retiring. Can you tell I'm showing you a lot of fun products that are going out so you can get them before they're gone? And I'm just going to make a bow. And if you've watched me, you know that I make bows with two bunny ears and I just loop it around and pull it through and I love this ribbon because um, it lays really flat it's not bulky at all and so it's just very nice to work with with your paper crafts with cards and especially if you're gonna mail mail something so I love this ribbon I know it comes in peekaboo peach and night of navy um, and berry burst it seems like there's one more I'm forgetting um, but it is awesome ribbon. So again, you might want to add that to your list very quickly. So I made my little bow. Can you see that? And, and yes, I do tie my bows on the spool so that I'm not wasting as much. I don't know. I've just gotten used to doing that. And then I just fold this over. Look, there's a rhinestone stuck on there. A rhinestone. <laughs> How funny. And then I'm just going to trim my edges with my snips. And I'm just going to stick that right there with a mini glue dot. Okay, so, um, okay, I put the mini glue dot here. And then to finish it off, which I used these last week also, they're, again, I use these products, I love them, are the 2D Fruity Sequence. They're already sticky on the back. They also have um, orange and blue, but I'm using just the, the green and the Berry Burst shade. And I'm just gonna sprinkle or stick on a few of these to my card. And there's that. I'm gonna put a few down here. And what do you think of this card? Do you think that you guys could easily make that? I'm sure you can. 
once I um, type up the measurements for you, it is very easy to um, make this card. There it is. And then it's super fun. This opens and it opens here. You could even put a picture here and a picture here or a gift card here and a photo here or you could just mat these all white and just write a lot of write a lot to whoever you're giving this to. So this is just a super fun pulled card. So um, okay and now the next thing I want to show you is um, because I am trying to use up some designer series paper is how to decorate your envelope. I love stamping up envelopes. They're so smooth and silky and we have them in Whisper White and Very Vanilla. And so this was a piece of designer series paper that was just left over from me cutting the pieces for this card. So what's left is a two inch strip and this is six inches long. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to add some adhesive to my flap. Now, Rhonda that I work for, she's been doing this. So she has, um, she's my inspiration for this because I've never done this before. So I added some glue just to the flap and then I'm going to stick this right at the center and I'm going to stick this down just like this. And then I'm going to flip it over and you can't, I'm just going to cut this off along the edge. And then we have an, a super fun envelope to put this card in. And we're using up some of our fun paper and it will coordinate and nothing makes me happier than things that coordinate. And if you know me, if you've been in my house, you know that that is the truest statement ever, that I love things that coordinate. <laughs> I'm, that just makes me laugh because that's so true about me. Okay, so I just trimmed this off and do you see that? How cute is that? So that matches our card right there. And then um, you can just write, it out, write out who it's to and just another great way to use up some of your fun paper. So, okay, I'm going to flip the camera back up. Okay, all right, let me, okay. So here's your, again, here's the card that I made tonight. If you haven't shared this post yet or left me a comment or if you have any questions, um, let me know and I will answer them. And I will pick a winner, I promise, tomorrow night for um, to mail one of these fun cards too. And I might even give away another fun prize as well. I just didn't have time to grab something. So um, feel free to, um, to comment and share. And if you, have, if you would like to order any of these amazing products before they're sold out, you can always go to my online store and use this host code. If you use the host code, um, I like to send you thank you cards and maybe even a little thank you gift in the mail as well. So um, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I'll be sure to post the measurements because I know there was a lot. Um, if you um, have any more questions, you can always email me or message me too. And um, if not, I will see you next Wednesday. Um, which will be May um, for our next Facebook Live. So I'll see you then. Bye.